Welcome to yet another exciting episode of Online Prosperity Blueprint. And today we've got none other than Alta. Alta, how are you going today? Yeah, good, thanks. How are you? Tell me, did I say your name right again? Ilta, yes, close. Ilta, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, Ilta is not a digital marketing consultant, but he's somebody really crucial to what it is that we're about to come up with, okay? He knows a thing or two about marketing and growth, and he's developed or d delivered what is called holistic growth to companies of all sizes, from global tech stars to freelancer.com and also local startups like Glam Corner, right? Right now, he's putting his growth skills and practice to his own startup, Bliss, which is www.getbliss.com.au, which has achieved impressive traction in the last nine months. And uh, since their launch in April, he's recently closed a round of investment from prominent investors. Right, the reason I really want to talk to outside today is he is our potential client when you do go out there into the market to search for um, clients to work with, but he already has an in-depth knowledge of marketing. So what we want to do is protect you in the future so that you go in armed knowing what other people already know and then you are not going to be spraying and praying with your message. Right, now Elsa, thank you so much for having us as a case study here today. And <laughs> Thanks for having me. Great, now Get Bliss, what is that all about? Yeah, sure, so uh, Bliss is, um, we are an on-demand massage service. So uh, it's a bit like Uber for massages. The clients come in and they um, make a booking on our website or the app. And uh, we then take that booking and send it to our therapists all across Sydney and Melbourne. And, um, and basically, you know, we match the clients with a qualified therapist in their local area who um, can be, you know, there um, at their client's location in, in as little as an hour. So, um, you know, it's, it's ultimately a two-sided online marketplace and um, for professional massage therapy services. Great. So, obviously, I was really hungry for that two-sided. So, you have to market to the massage people and you also have to market to the people that need massages. Correct, yes. Yeah. So, the, yeah, we do supply side and demand side marketing, Good. yes. Great. So how are you mixing the messages so that they actually attack the right kind of person, um, you, especially the massage person? And how are you going into the customer side? Because this is B2B, B2C combined. And that's like a lot right. of detail right there. <laughs> yeah, correct. Yeah I, mean, um, yeah, I mean, the messaging is obviously different. But um, we do, um, you know, for the customer, for the client side, you know, it's, they have a, obviously the value proposition is very clear to them. You know, they get a, a, a you know, a, the best massages or a top quality massage therapist in their home, you know, in a very short notice. And it's all streamlined process, um, which makes the, you know, getting a massage, you know, incredibly easy uh, process. So, you know, the, the value proposition is very, fairly clear for the client and we really just drive that for the client, And, um, but for the therapist side, again, they obviously have a more a B two B sort of uh, value proposition, and um, and again, we we approach them. You know, they are each each therapist is a small business of its own, and then we approach them um, with a different set of value prop um, value propositions. Um, however, with our in our messaging to therapists, we also mix in the the value proposition from the client side as well, just so they have that understanding of the full marketplace um, and because obviously once they understand the value that we're delivering to the clients and and um, then it's easier for them to see the benefits of being part of the platform and and how the, the platform can deliver more business to them basically so um but yeah you're right so it's a it's a it's a fairly distinct to sort of distinct messaging and um, and the channels are different obviously as well um, the where the channels we had the market to and um, but yeah so that's the um, I guess the, the 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 joys of having two sides to the to the marketplace. Great stuff! I I can see there's a few challenges that you might come across. Okay, yeah. obviously you've got the same uh, message and you've got to have a different market for the two uh, separate markets. And then you also have to have a medium. So what has been working specifically for you to drive traffic 
first of all, let's start with the masseuse service providers. What have you been using to drive traffic uh, to the website? Um, I mean, it's, it's mainly, um, you know, we, we do some online advertising to, to acquire, um, you know, the therapists. Um, the, you know, in Australia, obviously your Australian listeners will be familiar with, you know, the platforms that are in Australia. There's like Seek and, you know, um, I think it is like Indeed and Gumtree. And so, yeah, there, there are certain, the, 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 the basic, the, 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 um, the standard, I guess, online platforms where you just put your jobs up. And um, in addition to that, you know, we do some events like, you know, trade events kind of thing and, and also with um, schools as well. We partner up with them, um, you know, massage schools or you know, colleges. And um, again, you know, particularly with, for their qualifying students, if they're in their last term, you know, they are potential, um, you know, candidates for us. So, you know, we reach out to them and um, that's sort of, you know, those are our sort of main channels. And, and we also get a lot of referrals from our existing therapists as well. Um, again, we, um, like I said, you know, it's, and that's the sort of, to be perfectly honest, that's the best sort of um, um, in terms of the quality of, um, um, you know, providers that we receive or candidates. And um, that's been the best one so far, you know, uh, you know, our existing therapists referring their friends or people that they might know to us. And um, yeah, those are, that's the sort of, you know, those, I guess then it's sort of word of mouth, I guess you can classify that as word of mouth. And, um, but yeah, that's been the main sort of, you know, in terms of um, the, the supplier side, that's our main sort of channels. Um, yeah. Cool. All right. So word of mouth, that means your platform really must be <clears throat> performing for other people to refer. Now that's the B2B side and the B2C side, what channels are you using to attract uh, the people that want to book these services onto the platform? Yeah, well, I mean, we, you know, being an early stage startup, we explore pretty much every channel that's available. That's known to, you know, and to any digital marketer. Like, um, that's again, not, not like online, offline, like, you know, scalable, non-scalable, like every channel we explore. Um, when I say we explore, you know, everything is one big test, really. We don't just go and dump, you know, um, huge amounts of money into one channel. Um, our typical approach will be, you know, we just try it in a channel, uh, whether online or offline, and then see if we get um, some sort of, you know, well, not some sort of, if we get good return on that investment. And if we do, then, you know, we scale it up and, you um, that's sort of how we approach in terms of more like specifically which channels are working. Um, we, we uh, concentrate on online channels really. Um, and um, that's our sort of primary focus and um, organic and paid and both um, online channels. And um, we do some offline marketing as well. Um, and in the, in the, you know, again, like, you know, you're, you're, I guess the, the, the bottom line is you're an early stage company and whatever it takes, you know, sometimes it, can, sometimes it comes down to, you know, um, just us, you know, handing out flyers or to, you know, going cold calling businesses and, you know, every channel we explore um, and see which, if you can get good traction from that channel. But, um, but yeah, that's sort of how we work, work. Um, in terms of you know reaching to our clients, and and then also like I said, word of mouth is also fairly strong as well on the client side, right. and you know again it's and it, like you said you know it really just you know it's a testament to the the quality of the service and you know the, clearly the clients are seeing the the value and the benefits of the service and they're enjoying it and they they're referring it to their their friends and family to us. Um, um, but yeah, so ultimately, you know, we, you know, we explore every channel, but to be perfectly honest, you know, we, um, our main focus is, although it might sound, you know, it might sound not that exciting. Our main focus is that word of mouth. You know? <clears throat> uh, so again, I guess, you know, we really, in terms of the way we operate, you know, you know, we have a you know big vision and, you know, we operate like a, a, a a high growth sort of business, but in terms of the day to day stuff, you know, we, or, or customer satisfaction, we really want to remain like a small business, you know, and, um, and where, you know, we just really, every customer matters and it's, 
every interaction with every customer is is incredibly important and you know we want to we want them to leave after every you know treatment or appointment with this you know 110 percent satisfaction and just say wow this was just an, another great experience from you know booking making a booking to you know having the therapist arrive and then having the treatment itself and then after the treatment um because ultimately you know that's what we strive for you know for our customers to really just go and do the marketing on our behalf and you know that's um i, I think that's um like i said you know it's probably not that the um it's probably the oldest you know marketing channel but it's still, <laughs> but it's it's still the best it's the most effective and the best uh, the best one i think you know right I, I spoke to a lady um not so long ago and her, her name is tanya williams she mentioned what you just said using word of mouth and also trying to integrate all of it into the digital space you know yeah. what she called it yeah yeah she called it trend digital marketing yeah so it's traditional digital marketing trend right, digital okay I, I didn't I didn't heard of that but yeah when I mean, we do we do we do um, um, you know encourage our customers to you know to spread the word um, as best as they can so I guess yeah it's you know it is in, in you know in in a way incorporated into the online experience but um, ultimately it's a, it's an offline channel with some online components I guess built into it yeah great now Ilsa what we actually do is help other digital marketers to come out and help entrepreneurs like yourself so that you can actually spread your message. Okay. Now, yeah. if a digital marketer who's listening to this might see you say as a potential customer or whatever, what sort of advice would you give them to approach you? Because you seem to have done it all. What mm. is one maybe frustration or missing element that you might think a digital consultant should approach you and with that specific thing you would listen because you've done it all if someone yeah. comes with seo or other alternatives you just shoot them back so i want you as a customer to give us the confidence that there's still room for, for a consultant to come in but what is it that they should bring to the table for you to take notice um, I think, you know, from my point of view, like, you know, I get pitched a lot, you know, by digital agencies and stuff. And um, do, you, do you want to buy my stuff? <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe. <laughs> um, um, but I think, I think, you know, one of the things that I um, pay attention to is the case studies, you know, right. like, and I sort of look at their um, clients, like portfolio, and right. obviously, if they if they work with a client that's you know in a similar space as we are, that right. sort of you know I guess that's an immediate you know it grabs my attention. And then if they have case studies around that, um, then I would probably pay a bit more attention. Um, otherwise, like you said, you know, spray and pray. Like if you just say, hey, look, you know, we'll do SEO for you, things like that. It's just yeah, you know, it's just, it just doesn't really cut it. You know, it has to be I think a bit more tailored with you know potentially case studies that are relevant for our business where i can just say okay cool it also shows them look you know these guys actually have you know area expertise like you know because um ultimately you know we are you know what we do is fairly niche so like you know for for an for for an agent or an agency when they approach us with a sort of blanket solution again it just does it's kind of just you know i, I sort of like I, i'll look for that niche experience if that makes sense, like, you know, because ultimately, especially for like, you know, or any campaigns really, you know, for any digital marketer to deliver a campaign effectively, they really need to understand the space, like the, 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 the sector or the, the vertical or the, the customers. So, you know, if they can sort of um, um, demonstrate that knowledge to, to me, um, then definitely like, you know, those are the sort of, I guess, agencies or agents that I sort of respond to, to be honest. And I was like, okay, cool, look, you know, they, they've obviously done their um, research and it's not just like a, a blanket sort of pitch, you know. And, um, and um, but yeah, and also, um, I guess I'm also, and, and be, that's, that's probably the first thing, like, you know, so it's okay, it's, it's relevant sort of um, experience. And also, um, Again, like, you know, just a ROI sort of driven approach, you know, rather than, you know, I guess, case studies kind of help with that, you know. Okay, what was the brief? What was, what was the problem? 
and you know how much investment it, it was required from the client and what sort of return you've delivered over what period of time and um, and again if we can obviously you know um, some references to sort of back it up um, you know that sort of stuff and um, I think also like you know one of the things that you do really well um, prosper is that you know, being active online, you know, almost as a, like a thought leader, you know, in that space, you know, you're so, you know, on social or, you know, um, in, in just online, just having that uh, presence online, again, just adds that credibility to the, um, uh, to the agency or, or the consultants. Um, and otherwise, like, you know, if you're just relying on one pitch deck, you know, it's, it's, it's a bit difficult to find that credibility. Um, but right. if you, if you have that sort of online thought leadership following, then okay, cool. Look, you know, obviously, you know, um, there is a bit more to it. Um, but you know, those are the things I guess, you know, that I would, you know, that's, I'm just talking about like, you know, first level, yes. so first, you know, just first level filtering, you know, and, um, and then obviously if the, if the conversation sort of, you know, you know, um, progresses to the next stage, then, um, then I guess, you know, we, 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 you know, I prefer to just sort of see which channels that they might sort of, you know, see working well for us and, um, and what their plan might be in those areas. And um, I think, you know, also the other thing is um, just, in, this is again, my experience is just, um, um, I think the, um, the, 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 the agencies that are, that sort of impressed me, I guess, are the ones not sort of give me an answer without asking any questions, like you know, as if they really know the business better than I do. And, you know, you just don't. So don't, you know, I, I think, you know, the ones that I sort of paid more attention to is like, you know, they sit down with you, they have questions, you know, they really try to understand your business and how can they help. And they try to understand which channels um, are working and they have a great understanding of data and analytics, you know, so it's not like, Hey, you know, I'll, I'll do, do this to you. And then, you know, you know, the, I guess they, they, they sort of, they present a solution that's quantifiable as well. So it's not, um, um, you know, those are the agencies personally, I, I pay more attention to, I guess they're probably more the performance marketing type agency, okay. you know, um, rather than the sort of, you know, maybe the, the PR or like the creative agencies where, you know, probably, and the emphasis is more on the the reach, um, if that makes sense, and and rather than the actual return, no. um, you know. So those are the things, you know, that are, you know. Um, I mean, again, look, you know, I, I, you know, we do, you know, um, although we we do a lot of stuff internally ourselves, we we still, you know, work with agencies on a sort of case by or project basis, and and I definitely just spend a lot of time just in my own professional network, you know, a lot of digital marketers and bounce back a lot of ideas and you know but um you know those are the sort of topics and all the people or the organizations that i sort of see as you know someone that can add value to to our business basically right so basically the client has to know your business they have to know your process uh, when they pitch to you it has to be tailor-made to your service and if they have a, a case study that is relevant to your niche that also is a plus, okay? Yeah, and yeah. they're not praying and praying with their message. They're genuinely offering value without trying to sell you anything. And then you are coming in to make a decision. All right. Yeah. You've been following. Um, Alsa is giving us the inside scoop <laughs> on how we can actually go out into the market and find out how we can service these clients that we're searching for. There's no need for you to just go out there and make a fool of yourself because these are people too. They have feelings and they have needs that we are want to go out and service, right? So if you haven't picked up your copy of the 20 steps to starting your own six figure digital marketing agency, where we've got the whole scoop um, of case studies and people like Ilsa telling us exactly what the market needs, exactly what you need to be and who you need to be in order to be getting the business out there. Now Ilsa, one, really really grand and nice thing what is inspiring you to do all this um i guess you know just um, i'm just passionate about solving um problems like you know for you know making lives you know easier for people so i come from a product background myself so and um always loved consumer products 
So um, I've done my time in B2B as well. But, um, you know, I guess my passion was always in like consumer products, you know, solving, solving problems for like, you know, um, for, you know, customers and consumers, you know, whether when they're, you know, if they're looking to buy a house or rent a house or if they're looking for a job and, or if they're trying to get jobs done. And, and again, this was one of those things, I guess, um, you know, we, um, we saw a sort of, a, you know, a, a problem in the marketplace for this particular um, um, service. I mean, I've, I've, I've been a client for years and, you know, um, I go to my local massage clinic and get a massage, you know, once every six months or whatever. But then sort of just started thinking about like, you know, there must be a better way of doing this. And, and um, you know, so that's sort of how it started really. And, um, but then, you know, we looked at, we did our research and looked at the sort of market market and see if there was a solution to you know to address this problem and um we couldn't really find anything and um so we thought look okay maybe we should just give it a go using the skills that we have in terms of you know uh, technology and product and marketing and um so that's how it sort of came about really and um but yeah so we've been working on it for the last nine months and um having a great time <laughs> I, I can see you really having a great time i mean with massages I don't know if that's the same thing that happens with you guys having a happy ending, which is what we've just come to this episode here. <laughs> no, we don't. We don't. Um, no, it's all professional. We don't. Uh, <laughs> Thank you so much, man. Right. Obviously, as a digital marketer, uh, you sit in your chair every single day and you're probably not moving a lot. Why not go up to getbliss.com.au if you're in Melbourne or Sydney and, you know, book a massage. How do they get, get around to doing that there, Elsa? Um, they can just, you know, um, you know, go to our website or search. I mean, look, you know, we're pretty good with um, organic. If they search for, you know, mobile massage and their location will come up and then we're bliss. Um, and, uh, yeah, they can just easily book under a minute and uh, we'll have one of our qualified professional massage therapists there. Great stuff. Um, I'm actually going to get on the phone right now and, oh, sorry, we're not finished. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much, uh, Elsa. It's been a no pleasure. Problem. Thank you so much for giving us all the insider secrets. This is no problem. Thank you. Which I think if you're a digital marketer and you're really serious about starting your own digital marketing agency, the link below will lead you to getting yourself one of those copies. Make sure you get yourself one. Till the next episode, thank you so much. And Ilsa, thank you, buddy. Thanks. Thanks for having me. And I hope it's been useful and helpful for, um, for everyone. This, this is the secret. This is insider information. Of course it's helpful. Thank you so much. No worries. Thanks, Pastor. Cheers. <laughs>